To continue the data collector lesson, and now that we've decided that we're going to use a TDS Recon, and we have Survey Pro, and we've ordered the equipment, it's arrived at the job site, we've downloaded the software to our computer, we've charged the battery and opened it up, and now it looks like this, and defaulted with this main screen with these nine file menu options, the first thing we need to do is create a job, what is sometimes called a project, that will house certain settings for the activities that we'll perform in that specific job. So we can get there by going into the file menu, down into open new, and since this is the guideway project here at the airport, I'm going to come down here and click new, and I'm going to highlight that with my stylus, my keypad's going to come up, and I'm just going to type in guideway. And I'm going to hit next. Now, it's going to ask me for some preliminary settings. I do want my north, my north to be the azimuth. I do want it to be in U.S. survey feet. That's similar to how we set it up for total stations. I do want my units for angles to be in degrees. You can click on the adjust for earth curvature and refraction. Many field engineers on job sites have told me that this is a good setting to click, especially when traversing. So now we'll hit next. Um, the first point, I'm just going to, going to select 100 and hit enter and then use my starting coordinates as 5,000, 5,000, which were displayed before I hit finish. Now I'm in a new job. The first thing we want to do in that job is to change the settings. So I'm going to go to my second file menu under job, hit item A under settings, and now I can go through and change some settings in this job. Now we already have one total station set up for a TOPCON. Now we're going to go through how to set up the total station to the data collector so they communicate back, to, back and forth, but some preliminary settings are these. We need to go through the units and make sure once again that we're reading U.S. survey feet, degrees, azimuth, and that our azimuth type is a north azimuth. Under format, this is just showing you what different types of formats the numbers will be in, and you can select the options that best fit your job site needs. Now, under files, we usually don't need to do much under that. Under surveying, there are some options in here that you can check on or off, make sure they're specific to your job site. Under stakeout, there are some more options up here that you can check. Some of the specific ones are whether or not this data collector will prompt you for certain information. Under point tolerance, we recommend that you have a point tolerance of 0 0.03. Hit enter. Once we have the stakeout setting set, now we're going to go down into repetition. The horizontal tolerance for your repetition, especially if you're doing resection or if you are doing traversing, needs to be about 12. And then your zenith tolerance, I usually like to enter in 200 because we usually don't keep that zenith angle focus directly on the prism or the resection point and we don't want it prompting us every time for an error. For a distance tolerance we're going to go back to 0 0.03 so this this instrument is going to prompt us when we have an error, a distance error of more than 0 0.03. We do want it to shoot a distance to the backside and then down here for repetition you can decide how or what mode it's going to take when shooting a repetition. You can switch the date time adjust the buttons, and then you have a general options menu over here with some other prompts that you can click on or off to make it job specific. Now when you're done, let's go ahead and hit the check mark, and your settings for your job are set. You need to remember those in the future when performing layout so you know why this data collector is performing the way it is.